Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What's up? You said you want to come to the salt mines with me today. Okay, cool, cool. Well, just remember, keep your hands to yourself. And keep your distance from these ponies because that salt is toxic, bro. Alright, come on, let's go. Hey man, don't don't get too far behind me. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, that's just a grifter, bro. He's lost. He's a lost cause. Shut the fuck up. Ah damn. Did y'all see that pony? Still trying to talk about Metacritic scores for Halo. Are you serious? Man, anyway. You guys have seen where I collect the salt. Now, do you want to see where I process the salt? Oh, you do? All right, hold on. Yay! Oh my God, bro. Whew. Okay, it's Sunday. 13 days before Christmas or Xmas or whatever the f you celebrate. It's like the closer and closer we get to Christmas, the worse and worse these ponies get, bro. It's so bad for them that I can hardly even find salt from other from other other fanboys. Every day I turn around, it literally look. All you have to do is type in PlayStation. Look in the comments. Trust me, the salt is there 24/7. I'm telling you, bro. Anyway, we're gonna touch on a, a, a myriad of topics today, from Hellblade to Halo's Metacritic scores to The Matrix, swearing that that Spider-Man looks just as good. Get the these ponies are on that copium. Bro. I'm telling you. Anyway, let, let, let's get into this song. The first article we're gonna start with was posted by Sony. It was on the 13th, so about two days ago. A galaxy-inspired palette comes to PS5, introducing new PS5 console covers available starting january 22nd in select regions full details at the link below all right man the colors are okay the colors are nice right but a lot of people are flipping out because when you go to the website you can see that these plastic covers remember that they're plastic not metal not glass cost 55 dollars bro <laughs> $55 and we already know D brand has theirs it probably cost the same or or more you know nobody cares about third party they're talking about direct in line first party $55 for two plastic plates that doesn't include shipping if it's not sold in stores bro so we're really looking at probably like 60 70 dollars for some plastic that's like a third of that's almost a third or fourth of the cost of the PlayStation digital Sony should have just made them bitches 70 dollars at this point why not if they'll pay 70 dollars for games I'm sure they'll pay 70 dollars for pieces of plastic my blue one is better and much cheaper than your blue one bootleg it's plastic it is plastic bro this post got 2,000 comments these people are gonna be in here defending pieces of plastic now eh it's all right but these plates are much better along with the rgb strip thanks d brand yeah right i love d brand but let's get real oh we about to get real these new v2 plates look like shit and are taking all the alienish magic away from PS5 design. Alienish magic? It, it it doesn't look that good, bro. We can agree that everyone is entitled to an opinion. How in the same breath can you say? We can agree that everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But then you're telling him that his opinion is wrong. That's not how opinions work. Oh, we got an Xbox. Xbox better customization. Xbix is a shit. Don't compare it to the master Sony. What? The third party ones were like 20 to $30. $55 is way too much for what? A logo? At least they're doing it themselves. Logo? Every PlayStation 5 has the PlayStation logo on the side. It's cut out of the side panel and the black comes through from underneath. Okay, but are you are you basically saying that because it has the cutout of the side panel that that's what's worth $50, $55? If that's the case, bro, then the, the person is right. Honestly, we're going to move on to another subject because you can literally find capping and caping from ponies anywhere. 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 
Godfall story mode upgrade around $10. So it seems like they had a plan all along. Give you the empty shell for free and you pay $10 for the story mode. If you're unaware, PlayStation Plus gave away Godfall, but it was a version that was gimped. You basically start off at like level 70 and you go straight to the end game. You have no idea what's going on, why you're fighting or what you're doing. And now they're coming out and they have a $10 upgrade for the story so you can learn what the f is going on. Let's see how these fans feel about it. This 100%, okay, I'm gonna have to fix what this dude is saying. This is 100% the reason why I game share. So the way I see it is, it's five bucks a piece for me and my wife to play, and I would have had no problem giving them the money, but after all this bullshit, fuck no. I'm not even adding this month's games to my library. I'll probably give the Lego game a try. I've never played them before, but I've heard they're fun. <laughs> they're, these people, they would rather say F these Sony exclusives and play the Lego games <laughs> than to play Godfall. Yeah, $10 is a great cheap bargain, but unfortunately now I saw the end game and so nothing to look forward to as I wasn't impressed with what I got. So fail for me. DC Lego always fun. Didn't even add Godfall to my library. Not planning to either. I generally am trying all games on PS Plus just for playing something different, unexpected. But the community has influenced me. And I have just not even added it to my library. Let them hear the message about a free game, which is just a demo. This is the thing, right? You can't let a community influence what you want to do and what you want to play. If I let the if I let these ponies influence me, I wouldn't have 30 hours into Halo right now. Right now, just the campaign. I'm not even including the multiplayer. I wouldn't have 30 hours in the in the campaign playing on Legendary. I'm having fun. The game is fun. F these ponies. I don't care what they think, and you shouldn't care what they think. My guy, Lenny, Kurlov. This last one, man, this last one is a, uh, this dude, Tiger, I don't understand them. Like, it's like they get a thousand followers and they figure they'll do as much as they can to keep that thousand followers. Like they would rather spend their time hating and posting negativity than actually just having fun and playing games. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people are sitting here talking about how they're having fun with Halo. And these motherfuckers, all they have to do is post negativity. About Metacritic score, who gives a fuck about a Metacritic score, bro? Honestly. And if I like the game, that's all that matters. I don't care if the game got a 50 or a 60, cause these motherfuckers keep moving the goalpost. And you will see with this post. Xbox's flagship title and $500 million budget unconfirmed can't beat PlayStation's new IP and Metacritic score. This is sad. Is it really sad? Is it really sad? Who's sitting here crying about this? Not only that, the score is barely higher. Two points? If Halo is a bad game, having an 86, this is this is why people hate ponies and these fanboys, because they're always moving the fucking goalposts. If Halo is a bad game for having 86, then that means that every single PlayStation game that has an 86 is now trash, right? Or is that a no? Because it's Sony. Is that what it is now? Is that where the goalpost is moving? They never have a they never have valid arguments about anything. As long as it's PlayStation good, Xbox bad, that's all they need to say. And the dumb part about this is is some of these motherfuckers will own an Xbox. Why? I don't fucking know. I don't understand the point. It's probably only one of two reasons. One, they actually enjoy Xbox, but they have to cap for motherfuckers online because they're small followings. Number two, they just have it just to sit here and talk shit about it. Either way, you stupid because you can't even enjoy that shit. What the f is the purpose of buying something that you don't give a f about? I don't understand that logic. I don't like eggplants. I'm not going to go to the store and buy fucking eggplants and then complain about eggplants. And here comes another clown, another LED tiger, always with the cold, hard facts. <laughs> shut your ass up. And here we go. Confirming exactly what I just said. Where did you get 500 mil budget from? They pulled it out of their ass. They literally did. They bent over. They reached inside, cause you know, it, it's it's pretty big in there. And then they pulled that shit right out of their ass. And you don't have anything showing the games you play or you on your preferred system. Gamers play games. I'm running Battlefield 2042 and it has a low rating, but yet I'm having fun. 
Exactly. Who cares what these goofy ass people online think? These ponies need to get a fucking life, bro. And any Xbox too, they need to get a life. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Somebody pulled up the original PS4 Ghost of Tsushima score. It was 83. Remember what I said, right? I said, so anything lower than an 86 is bad, right? That just isn't true though, is it? Nice try. 82. So if an 80, if anything lower than an 86 is bad, that automatically makes Ghost of Tsushima bad. What's sad is that you care. Go play a game. And yet you came here to make a tweet. Shows you care too. Look at this fucking dude. He literally made a Twitter account called Xbox equals last place. Game Pass is basic cable service. And he made his picture rent games. This is what I'm talking about. These motherfuckers have no fucking life. Who does this? Who does this? Please, what normal person does this? It was like that other guy I looked at. He said, I'm a doctor by profession. You're a doctor? You're checking people? You're making informed decisions about people, but you're online being stupid, arguing about dumb shit? Bro, I'm done. I am done. I got two more videos coming up. Uh, one about Hellblade. That one's gonna be interesting. Anyway, if you enjoyed the content, like, comment, subscribe, kick your feet up, grab a fucking drink, become part of the family, join the minds. If you have any information on these ponies or any salt that's delicious, you can leave it at my Twitter link down below or comment and let me know. Anyway, peace. I'm out.